You may have noticed that this is not a four-star hotel with a swimming pool or a jacuzzi. There are no massages. There are no spa treatments. That's because I never made it there because of the rain. So instead, I'm stuck here in Count Dracula's guest room. I know, it's so boring. I'm Mina Murray, and welcome to my journal, which is going to be really, really exciting. So, I came straight from the airport, I got all the contracts and everything done in about 30 minutes. Boom, done. But then when I went to go, the road had been washed away by the rain. I literally saw it happen. Floosh! So the taxi couldn't get to the house, I couldn't get to the town, so currently my lovely four-star hotel room is unoccupied and I'm here instead. Apparently last decorated in 1947. Why would you decorate a room like this? Unless you didn't want any guests. There are no mirrors. Not one. Anywhere. Maybe mirrors weren't invented yet. But at least it's a roof over my head and a bed. The Count's been really generous letting me crash here. But it means I won't get to my hotel and I won't see anything of Bucharest. But this house has like a really old house smell. Like it stinks of old cabbages. And all the doors are locked. Maybe he's hiding dead bodies behind them or something. The Count is really weird. He's really old. Not that being old is weird, but I mean he's so old that he looks like he might crumble to dust at any moment. Why is he buying a house in London? It's not like he's going over there to party, is it? When I gave him the contracts, he sniffed them. Sniffed them. I don't think he even read them. Did you hear that? That's wolves. They've been doing that on and off since I got here. When I was having dinner with the Count, they started howling and he started talking about how beautiful they are. He called them children of the night. I don't think he's all there. And he didn't eat or drink anything. He said he'd eaten before I got there. Talk about pensions and having an early bird special. I got there at 4 p.m. No wonder he's so skinny. Skinny, but really strong. Blimey. He's one of those guys that when you shake his hand, he always crushes your fingers. What's that about? Guys, it's not a test of strength. It's a hello. And he's got really cold hands. Maybe that's a European thing. It's really cold here. There's no central heating, but I do have a fire. He insists on speaking really correct English. Keeps asking me if he's got phrases right. I must have it absolutely correct. He'll never see this. He doesn't even have a computer. I'm amazed he has Wi-Fi. He said they installed it when they put his phone in here, but I'm amazed he knows how to use a phone. I can't even imagine explaining YouTube to him. Hey John, you've got another Amish friend. The only two people in the world who don't use the internet. You and a weird old count in the middle of nowhere. Anyway, that's me for now. No hotel, no spa treatments, no swimming pool, no jacuzzi. Just me, an old geezer, an old house and some wolves. Well, I'll be back home tomorrow and at least it's been an experience. Good night, John. Good night, Lucy. Good night, Wolves. Hello, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. Uh, tell me, what would you do if you were stuck in a weird old house in the middle of nowhere? I'm very bored, I don't know what to do.